Hi, I'm Jess Cannell, and I blog at JessCannell.com. And um, I just want to share a few ideas for things that you can do to snuggle and show affection to your toddlers and preschoolers. And the reason why is because I think a lot of us grew up um, knowing how to do all kinds of things. We know how to do long division. We know maybe how to diagram a sentence. We know how to present a speech, a persuasive speech with three points or whatever. We've learned all these things in school. We know how to prevent STDs, but we don't know often how to interact with different ages of children. And so I just wanted to give you some fun ways to show affection and kindness to your little guys. So this is Theodore, and he uh, is two and a half. He'll be three in February. Uh, and so... Anyway, I'm going to show you some things that I do with him to be silly and have fun together. All right. One thing that we do is just give a lot of zubberts like this. And we try to do them for as long as we can. Or sometimes we give, he and I play, you want to have a little baby one? So then we do big ones that are big ones. And then we do baby ones, which are like this. Really quick. Or we do big kisses like this. <laughs> or then we do a little baby kiss. Can you give mom a baby kiss? Baby one. So little funny things like that. Um, another thing that we do sometimes is I lay them out on my lap and I say, oh, I need to practice the piano today. And so I, oh, and then dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and just be silly like that. Another one would be to count their ribs. So you say, Mama needs to count your ribs today. And so we hold up your arm really careful. And we do one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 Another one would be we got to do a little neck check. <laughs> so then I just tickle their neck. We call it a neck check, and it's a really sweet, simple little thing that, <laughs> that he yeah. likes. Sometimes he'll come up to me and say, Mama, neck check. Um, another thing, this is something from Doug's family when he was growing up. They, do, they, they go down the face like this, and they say, Four bumper, eye winker, nose smeller, mouth eater, chin chomper. Golly, 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 golly. Yeah. <laughs> he said again. I don't know if you heard that, but this often happens with this age that they'll ask you to do something again because they like it so much. Four bumper, eye winker, nose smeller, mouth eater, chin chomper. Golly, 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 golly. <laughs> Another one that we've just started doing lately that he really likes. He. One thing you need to know about Theodore is he is, um, he really likes tickles. And he is my first baby who, even when he was too little, when, we're, when they're too little to talk, we teach them two signs is all for sign language. We teach them more and we teach them all done. And he is my first baby that after we would tickle him, he would sign for more because he wanted us to tickle him more. This is Moses. He's my five-year-old. So one thing that we do with Theodore because he really likes tickles is I'll say, okay, let's check your arms and make sure they're still working good. And I say, oh, you've got good hands. You've got your wrist. You've got your arm, your elbow, and... <laughs> <laughs> and so I do that on both sides. Oh, see, he wants me to do this side now. So we'll say, oh, your hand looks good, and then your wrist, and then your arm and elbow, and your underarm. <laughs> so like that, silly things. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, so one thing I do a lot that is just one way that I start teaching my toddlers and preschoolers about how God made them is I say, God made you so good. And so I start with their hair, and I try to go all the way to their feet as quickly as I can, but in detail, and I tell why each part that, that they have is good. Please don't do that, Moses. I want you to go away. Please, go. So I start out with his hair, and I say, oh, you have good hair. God made your hair so good to cover your head and to make you toasty. Look at Mama. And then God made your sweet face, and I love it so much. It smiles at me, and it's sweet. 
God, God made your ears so you can hear Mama's voice talking to you and singing songs. God made your eyes so you can see all the pretty colors. He yeah. made your nose so you can smell wonderful things. God made your mouth. Please take that away right now. <clears throat> this is my five-year-old. Moses, I want you to go out of the room right now. Um, he made your mouth so good. Oh, Let me see your teeth. He made your mouth so that you can eat tasty food. Yeah. And so that you can bite Mama's finger out. <laughs> he made your neck so Mama can take a little off He made your neck too so that you can have food that goes down your mouth and down into your tum-tum. He made your arms so you can hold Mama's hands and carry heavy things. <laughs> He made your tummy so you could grow bigger and stronger and have food in your tum-tum. He made your bottom so you could sit on it and so you could have all that food come out and come out in your poo-poo. <laughs> he made your legs so you can run, 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 run. And he made your feet so you can walk and because they're stinky and mama needs to smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this may be a boy thing, but I have six boys. So I'm just going to tell you, every single boy that we've had, and I think May May did too, but my boys, my boys especially like it, is to just over and over and over again, starting when they're babies, say, let me smell those feet. Oh, stinky little feet, feet. Those are so stinky. And then do it again and again. First, they love to stink, so it's just... A universal truth about little boys I think <clears throat> but anyway these are some ways that um, I snuggle and love on toddlers of course we do other things too like reading books and playing silly games or getting in the floor and wrestling but I just wanted to give you some practical um, ideas for little games and fun ways to show affection and snuggle up with little kids that are Mm -hmm. Anywhere from about, we start doing more intentional stuff like this, probably around one or one and a half. And I still do it even with Moses sometimes. He's my five-year-old. Um, I probably, I don't do much besides snuggling and occasional tickling with my bigger kids if they're, you know, if they enjoy it or want to. But um, we snuggle for sure, but we just don't do all these silly things. This is something I just do with toddlers, and it's a way of teaching them about their bodies and, of course, just being silly together. So I hope ideas like this are helpful for you. Again, I blog at JessConnell.com. That's C-O-N-N-E-L-L. -L, and I blog about motherhood and um, honoring God in the role that he has you in. So I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.